In Gboard, many of us perform a long press gesture to access numbers and symbols. Since that prevents us from having to tap a dedicated button, then tap on that number, and then tap that dedicated button again so that we can continue typing out what we needed to. You could adjust the long press threshold setting, but that can actually cause typos if you aren't careful. Now, check this out. There's a new option within the Gboard app that lets you flick a key downward, and that will actually type out that number or symbol for you. And you can see how quick that can actually be when you have this set up that way. So let me show you how to enable that. If you want to enter numbers and letters with a quick gesture like this, then the first thing you need to do is tap on the four box icon on the left side right here. Find the gear icon so that we can dive into the settings area for Gboard. Then we're going to tap on the preferences menu and then scroll down a little bit until you find the shortcuts section. If you have version 16.2 of Gboard or later installed on your device, then you should see a new feature labeled flick keys to enter symbols. And this is going to be disabled by default, but a quick tap shows you just how easy it is to enable it. And while we're here, I know not everyone has this feature enabled, but if you want to use the flick keys to enter symbols, then it can also help to know where those symbols are. So enabling this will show you that symbol on the key itself. However, if you like the clean look of Gboard keys, then you can keep this disabled and still use the flick keys option for the numbers at the top. If you use Gboard as your keyboard of choice, do me a favor and click on that like button below this video. Let us know if you were aware of this new feature. And if not, then do us a favor and share this video with everyone you know.